Hey guys, welcome back to another Train Sim World video. Today we're going to be playing another scenario. This time, in the previous uh, video, we played the Christmas Closures um, scenario. But this time, we're going to be doing a scenario called Westworld. You are scheduled to drive a high speed service out of London to the West Country. But first, you must get there. Catch a service into Paddington as soon as, as you can as a passenger. Once there, head over and get things uh, set up ready for the departure so yeah let's get started so we are going to be going all the way to Paddington and then we're going to be driving from Paddington all the way to Reading and then that service will continue probably to Swansea or Bristol or wherever this train is going to but we are going to start off as a passenger which is a cool feature that there are collectibles which I do need to try to find I might do a video just on trying to find some of these uh, collectibles if you guys want. I might live stream actually, probably be easier. It's taking a bit of time to load, there we go. Westworld. So we are currently a passenger at Ealing Broadway, I believe. Yes, we are. Ealing Broadway. And we're waiting for a service into Paddington because that's where we need to reach before 1920. And I believe the, uh, the service that we're going to be driving is departing at 19.30, so we have to reach at least 10 minutes before, I guess. Now, there are two possible trains you can get, which you can get this one, or if you miss this train, you can get the one after this, if you want. But the third train that comes along, you won't reach there in time, just so you know. Okay, let's ride this. Come on, get off guys. Uh, let's just go on this one, I guess. Oh, come on. I don't want to miss the train. There we go. So yeah, we are a passenger. We're on the train. Here's the toilets, which don't actually work, which is a bit disappointing. We can sit in any of these seats. I think we can sit in any of the seats. Yes, we can. So let's sit here, I guess. Got some passengers sitting down as well. And yeah, we're just waiting for our departure to London Paddington. This train is uh, being driven by AI, if you're wondering. And something you can do as a passenger is click number two. And yeah, as a passenger, you can have the same uh, external view as a driver. So might as well take a screenshot. So why not? Not too sure why the driver hasn't got his wipers on because it is raining. Yeah, that's a bit weird. You would have thought the wipers would be on because it's raining, but... I guess this driver doesn't know how to drive the train. So yeah, we're departing Ealing Broadway. We're probably like 5 miles away from Paddington. Class 166. So let's go back as a passenger and stand up. Now we can open this. And we could actually just close this and sit at the front of the train. We can crouch down. And yeah, just sit here and drive, pretend to drive the train because you don't actually have to control anything because this woman is driving as the AI. So the speed lim uh, maximum speed for this train is 90 miles an hour. Vehicle number 58108 and unit number 166208. There's a class 166. I think we do need to be sitting down for us to um, go external view, so let's close that door. Let's go to first, actually there's no first class on this train, I don't think, so. This is a bit glitched out, if you're wondering. There you go. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, let's open that, and then we open that one. Oh god. Oh my, what are you doing? 
Come on, game. Yeah, this is a bit annoying. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we managed to go through. That's kind of annoying. They might fix it in the future. Let's see here, actually. Got these who look like pretty much the same character. Oh, there's a freight train. Let's look at the freight train. Very nice. Class 66. I believe it's Acton Mainline, which this train is stopping at. And then the next stop will be London Paddington. So let's go back to a passenger and we could basically... We could get out the train, but... It, we could miss the train. Uh, the train might depart without us, so... Probably not the best thing to do, but... If no passengers are leaving this train, then we can do that quickly. Okay... This is Acton Mainline. Actually, let's get back on the train because I don't I don't know how quickly the driver will uh, close the doors. Oh, there's a service. There, the HSD service. Very nice. Let's go and sit. Where should we sit now? Essentially, you can walk right to the end of the train. Open this door and sit here if you want. Well, not quite sit on the driver's seat because we're not allowed to drive this service, but you can basically do this. Crouch down and you're pretty much driving the train like this. Anyway, this is pretty much the seating position. Just a little bit higher normally. Back to mainline. But where should we sit? Where should we sit? That's it, actually. This train should be departing soon. Can't really tell because I'm not driving it. Okay, the next stop is London Paddington. Let's, let's go to external view because why not? So the, for the previous video, I had uh, ATB or I think it's ATB. I think that's how you say it. ATB or is it ABT? I think it's ATB, but yeah. Um, we will. I was gonna enable ATB once we get to uh, London Paddington and take over the HST service, but apparently that's not implemented in the game yet, so I can't do that. Whereas AWS is implemented, so I will enable that when we set up the cab, and I will show you how to do it. Kind of weird that that have ATB uh, in the train, but it doesn't. It's not implemented, which is a bit weird. A bit lazy from Dotto Games, I'll be honest with you. Got class one six six. I think that's Acton Yard. Is it? Or all or Common Yard? Maybe. I'm not too sure. I think it's all or Common because we are quite close to London Paddington, I believe. The class one six six. I did want to take a screenshot, but that train was going very fast. <laughs> but yeah, as we get to oh, this HSD. Very nice. Now the key to enable FPS is F three, but unfortunately that's my button to um, turn off my recording, so I can't really use that button unfortunately I will have to remap it famous bridge FPS is not too bad actually considering how oh, this train is very quiet the whole game in general is quite quiet when you actually drive a train so a lot of people have been mentioning this but hopefully they will fix it. Maybe it's an issue with the game itself, with volume, audio issues. But we are 1.9 miles away from Paddington. Let's stand up and sit here because... Why not? There you go. 
Oh, that's an interesting cavalry. Yeah, well, let's just stay here actually. You could sit next to the driver. I wish you could do this in real life actually. But you can't. Unless I have permission. One and a half miles away from Paddington. I believe we're stopping on platform. Wow, I just don't need to say which platform it's stopping at, so I don't really know. If it's starting from left to right, then maybe platform one or two. Not too sure how many platforms there are at Paddington, actually. I believe that's some cross rail works happening. Okay, go notification, ride this train to London Paddington. Well, yeah. Not too sure that notification sound was for. Okay, um. Coming to Paddington. I want to sit on that chair, the one right next to the window where he can't. It seems it's a bit stupid. Anyways, oh, this is the wrong one. There you go. On that side is a uh, old uh, park rail station for the district line. Not district line. Sorry, Hammersmith and City line and Circle line trains. The S seven stock I believe. The S eight stock is for the Metropolitan Line. Coming into London Paddington. There should be a S HSC just on this side somewhere, which is a train that we're gonna be taking over. It's a class one six six, probably Probably will depart once once we've entered Paddington. Isn't this the platform where the normally the Heathrow Connect normally terminates at? Or I think it's the one on the left hand side actually. Over there. I haven't actually been to London Paddington for a long time. Okay, I think AI will stop here, I believe. Nope. He should be stopping there, but he's stopping right at the end, which makes sense. Pretty good. This is what you would normally do anyway, but I don't know why that marker is 83 yards before. A bit weird. Okay, exit the train as indicated. Okay. Okay, let's exit the train. This is London Paddington where the train terminates, all change. Now you can walk up these no, well, you can't walk up these stairs because this exits the station. Would be cool if you could exit the station and see a bit of outside, but anyways. Our trains I think they're parting at 1930, so we've got like 18 minutes left, so let's check up London Paddington. Something you can do is Go on the tracks, like so. And if you're wondering how you get back up, basically there are some steps on the side. I think there's one here. So basically there are these steps where you click E, and you basically climb up it. Because I'm passengers waiting here, probably waiting for a train. Something that is a glitch for the game is the feet is underground. Top from 13 and 14. Can I only go on that platform, but I can't see any steps. Oh, there's one, I think. Yeah. To be honest with you, if we're in a rush and we have to go from this platform to that platform, we might as well just um, go on the tracks, you know. In real life, you you wouldn't do that, obviously, but you can do this on the, on this game. So we've got some engineering works, disruption online. Following a uh, thorough review, we are pleased to announce that plan uh, that 
The plan blocked on the line will no longer go ahead. That's good. Rail upgrade works. Building a bigger, better railway. Okay then. I think these signs are all the same anyway. So let's go back. I believe we have to go back on it. Let's just take a shortcut, because why not? There you go. Something that I have done is I turned off the next speed uh, marker. So we have to use the hard in the bottom right hand corner to keep an eye on the speed limit. I've turned off the next uh, signal marker as well. And I've turned off notifications, so yeah. As I'm pretty used to using the train now, so... Once you get used to it, you can pretty much turn everything off. Oh, it's telling us to go here, so let's go here. Now you can turn this blue thing off, but... It's kind of useful to have when you end the train and want to know uh, how far you're away from the next station because unless you know off each station by heart then you're probably not going to stop at the right station. Okay now he wants us to go to head over to the main station concourse. We've got bins which look really dirty. going to be honest. In real life they probably look a lot better than that. <laughs> got some bins here. wants us to go here and then he wants us to go there which we will yeah we'll go there in a minute let's go through this ticket barrier we don't actually have to um okay you can't go through this which is a bit stupid but come on i wish it did it gave, gave you an oyster card and you could just tap the oyster card and you could go past that would be kind of cool but we can go through here anyways. Actually, we can't go through here. That's a bit stupid. Okay, now we have to go around. But yeah, this is the main part of London Paddington Station. We've got the dome thing on the top. Very nice. We've got some passen a lot of passengers here. Now, unfortunately, we can't go up here. Because this exits the station as well. Bit disappointing. I think that's the train we're going to be taking on. HST, class 43. What we can do is go down there. Go. Head over to the main station, going close. So he wants us to go all the way there. Which is the platform where our train that we're going to be taking over is. We got. Whistle shop, food and wine. What's this? Oh, can I even go through there? That would be a bit disappointing if I can't. I don't think I can. That's very disappointing. Okay, none of the passengers there are moving or anything, so I'm guessing that that's a glitch. Like, you should be able to go past this and go over there and look, look a little bit outside, I guess. Wow, look at that. We have Cafe Nero, guys. That's interesting. So, I think Dustle Games probably... I think Cafe Nero allowed Dustle Games to use their logo in the game, which is kind of cool. Normally, that would be a fake sign, but... That's kind of cool, actually. Let's take a screenshot of that. There's no WA Smith, though. There's always a WA Smith in these mainline stations. I don't see any. Check to complete, so yeah. Complete departure proceedings for a timely 1930 departure. But we'll go there in like two minutes time. Yeah, we can't go through it, that's very disappointing. Disruption online, rail replacement bus services. No thanks. We've got a massive clock here. Is that even moving? can't really tell. I don't think it is. Yeah, unfortunately I can't go past this 
barrier, which is a bit disappointing. I've got like 10 minutes to kill, so... This station is no, a no smoking station. Well, every station is pretty much... Oh, we've got HSD coming in. Let's look at the passengers leaving the station. Why not? Very nice. Okay, no passengers that leave that train. Now, obviously, you can't open this and go on it, but just in case that the driver decides to uh, decide to uh, depart, then we're kind of screwed because this train will be leaving, and that's the train we have to be. By the time we come back to Paddock, then we'll probably be late to take our service, so probably not best to go on this train. I can't really tell uh, what time this train is going, probably after our train. Because our train is leaving in around 10 minutes time. You can walk up these stairs, which is cool. And you can walk along here. Pretty much see the whole of London Paddington, I guess. Got some ticket machines here, which look pretty good. We've got Oyster Card Machine. Well, if you're going to add an Oyster Card Machine, why can't you give us an Oyster game? At least let me touch it. Got ticket machine, got the Oyster touch there. That's for the pin number, I believe. Put the screen there. That's where your money and tickets come out. Yep, pretty good. Got some CCTV, as always. But let's let the passengers uh, aboard our train. Okay, where do you have to go? Oh, go all the way there. Making them walk quite a lot, actually. Okay. There we go. Close the doors. Can you close the door, please? There you go. Set the headlight today. Okay. Is that today? I don't know. Can't really zoom in anymore, and that's not the most clearest thing, so. I'm just gonna turn it until it says okay. Today I can't see. Uh, I think day is on left hand side, is it? I can't even tell that, like it's just so blurry because I'm playing on low settings. But let's put the reverse in forward. Just this one. Come on game. There we go. Okay, it's pissing down with rain now, so that's on the wipers. Oops, that's not the one. Uh, I think, what's the key for wipers? Hmm. I think one of these buttons are for the wipers, so let's try to find it. Let's enable AWS first, though. So if we go to here, here's, um... What's that? Okay, A, what's this? Uh... Okay, that's AWS, and that's, this is ATB, but that's not available or implemented in the game, so no point turning that on. Now we got some ATB data entry over here. Now, where are the wipers? Wipers? Are these are wipers? I can't really tell. Nope, that's one of the wipers. What does that do? No idea. Does anyone know where the wipers are in this train? <laughs> but I think it's V, isn't it, for wipers? Yes, it does. On. There we go. Oh, that'll do. Wipers are on. Train's pretty much good to go. Let's go back into the cab. Yeah, we need like cab light on because it's pretty dark outside. And one thing you can uh, hear outside is AWS, so even if you're external view and looking at the scenery, 
you will be able to um, hit the AWS, which is cool, something new. Well, they could have added, easily added it to Train Simulator, but they didn't bother to, so... I'm glad they've done it to uh, this game, because... A lot of us like to uh, drive the train while we're outside, looking at the scenery and all that, and... We're not always in the cab. 100% of the time, so... Okay, that train's departing before us. That must be the 1924. HST to Bristol, I guess. Or Cardiff Central, or Swansea. Okay, I think that's what signal is waiting for, so... I'll probably depart at 1925, makes sense. Then we're going to be departing at 1930. Probably. So we can stand up and... Well, we can't open doors because the engine is behind it, so we can't really do that. So we have to wait until 1930, so we've got like 5 minutes to spare, so... Let's leave the... Yeah, we leave it open, no one's going to jump in our cab anyway. I don't think there's any passengers aboard my train. We can actually check, so... Uh, how do you open this door? That's very laggy. Why is not letting us open it? Oh, oh there we go. But I think automatically, as soon as you get near it, it opens. So that's standard class. I think we already passed first class. What's this? Yeah, this is standard class, I believe. It must be. We've got a dining car here. Unfortunately, there's no food here, so... But we've got some first class here, which is looking really nice. Now, we can sit here. Okay, that guy's hair looks weird. <laughs> GWR, first class, nice. Looking good, looking good. A lot more first class. And that's as far, I think that's the engine room, so we can't go further. So let's leave the train. Yeah, that's engine one. Okay, we've got like just under four minutes to depart. HSC is just arriving at London Paddington. Now, are these passengers going to aboard my train? This guy looks like he wants to because he's wearing a green tie. Similar colour to the GWR livery, so he must be wanting to go on this train, surely. Got some more ticket machines, which is kind of useful. Like, having a ticket machine literally opposite your train will be very useful. Sometimes you have to get your ticket at the last minute. Okay, let's go back into the cab view, because... Around two minutes left, and we are going to be doing a non stop service to Reading, and then that train will continue probably to Bristol, Swansea, wherever this train's going to. Okay, there, I think it's all good. Got AWS enabled, cab light on. Look at the horn. We got just under two minutes. Now if you do want to go on a map, you have to basically go on the menu and click on this, which is the map. Now there's a key to uh, open it when you're in the game, but I think it's a key that I can't use because it might turn off my recording, so... Yeah, this is the map for Train Simulator. It's not... I would say the Train Simulator is a better map. The map is not bad, but it's just like... Like, this doesn't tell me any information about that train. It just shows me that it's just a free car train, that's it. 
Very colourful, actually. That's one thing. And you can zoom in, out. So there's Paddington. And we're going, we're going all the way to Reading. Which is all the way up. Wait, that's not yet. Here it is. I'm assuming this is Reading. But yeah, the map is not great, I'll be honest with you. The train Simulator map is a lot better. At least it shows you the stations, where it is. Okay, we've got just over a minute. Hmm, I wonder what a real train driver would do in this situation. We have to where he has to wait like ten minutes for his service to leave. We'll just play on his phone, but we don't have a phone at the moment, so we can't do that. Now this turns on the uh, engine room lights, which is inside here. I don't think he can open this. I don't believe so. Okay, you can open that thing as well, obviously. But once you start moving, that will be locked. What does this do? Okay, 20, 30 seconds left. So it's a 45 an hour, 45 mile an hour speed limit, I think, or 40 miles an hour actually. Yeah, I think that's 40, that's not 45. It's not quite in between 30 and 60, so it must be 40 miles an hour. Now with this train, we'll be able to get up to, we will be able to get up to 125 miles an hour, which is the maximum speed for this train, so that'll be really cool. We might experience some severe lag because of it, but hopefully not. Okay, it's 19.30. Let's close the doors. Let's press the guard twice. So it's a 40 mile an hour spin, so we can't go too fast at the beginning. We do have to keep our eye on the signals because I have turned off the signal uh, markers. Which are quite useful, because it shows you how many yards up until the next signal. So we've got 34 miles from to Reading. And we have to arrive at Reading at 8 or 1. And it's currently 7.31. So pretty much a half an hour. And it's a 34 mile an hour, uh, 34 mile journey. Most of the journey we are going to be going at 125 miles an hour, so... We should be there on time. It's a class 166 coming into Paddington. Let's pick up some speed. Okay. Okay, that's fine. 39 miles an hour. Let's go 40. Can't really tell when the next um, speed limit is coming up. Chucking it down with rain, that's for sure. Typical British weather. Actually, today when I came home from work, it was like... Basically, like this weather. A lot of rain. On the left-hand side is another train station on the... Circle uh, and Hampstead City Line, if you're wondering. Basically, the trains at Park Row goes underneath the Great Western Main Line and... Goes from the right-hand side to the left-hand side. Kind of like the West Coast main line between uh, Stonebridge Park and Wembley Central, so... If you've ever been in the Bakerloo line there, then basically it goes underneath the West Coast main line, so... 
So one minute the West Coast mainland is on the left hand side and then the next minute is on the right hand side. Okay, speed limit's gone up, so let's go. I think it's 45 miles an hour or 50? I think that's 50. Yeah, I just got max throttle, why not? Oh, that is a yellow signal for us, I think. Oh, it's a green signal. No, that's a green signal, we're good. Yeah, it's 50. It's definitely chucking it down with rain, that's for sure. Okay, speed limit should go up soon. And clearing the AWS on train symbol is basically the same as train simulator by just clicking the Q key, so don't worry about that. It's pr pretty much the same as uh, train sim simulator in terms of controls and AWS. Oh, speed limit's going up. Let's get going. Let's go max throttle. Speed limit is a hundred and th how much is that? I think that's ninety-five. Or is it a hundred? Can't really tell. I think I have a 9500 miles now. It could be 105 actually. Let's go external view and yeah. Let's see the HST pass by. That's the HST that we passed by before. When we are riding that class 166 coming into Paddington. It will take a while to get up to speed, but that's okay. Got 32 miles away. Hmm, what's this? Power curve values. Interesting, and switches. That's the AWS sound, if you're wondering. Knowing the AWS sound on trains to me is quite loud, but everything on this game seems very quiet, so I don't think it'll be that loud once we do hear it. Hopefully we'll hear it at least once, when there's a speed limit change or something. Oh yeah, that's another thing, like, how do I tell that the speed limit is going down? Hmm. Oh, that's interesting, I guess. Does the red needle fl 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 uh, flash or something that tells me to do that? Okay, this video is 125 miles now, so... We're going up a 0.1% gradient. Exactly 30 miles away from Reading Station. Yeah, this train is very quiet. I believe we are coming up to Ealing Broadway. Yeah, this is Ealing Broadway. Let's watch the train run by. Very nice. You can't actually zoom in that much, which is very disappointing. So I'm here and I, that's all I can zoom. What, well, that woman is... Yeah, she's stuck basically. I don't think she's going to be getting on the next train. Okay, 100 miles an hour, that's good. Okay, why are the wipers off? Okay, let's turn them on, but it's not... Come on, get... Okay, there we go. Now it's working. That's kind of weird. Yeah, there's a lot of bugs and glitches with this uh, route. Very disappointing Delta games. I would not mind a few bugs and glitches, but there's quite a lot. And I think Delta games already knew this. Okay, 
That look really weird. It's an awful world. Look at this. Like, thunderstorms and everything. Like, you would not want to go outside in this weather. Class 166. Probably going to Paddington. I would go outside more, but it's quite laggy and it is raining quite heavily, so it will affect FPS quite a lot. So I'll try to go as outside as much as I can without causing the actual gameplay to be very laggy. Because as soon as you go outside, like as you can see now, it's very laggy, like very laggy. What station is this? Can't tell. I have no idea. Is that Actor Mainline? No, Actor Mainline is before uh, Union Broadway, so it can't be. Maybe uh, Slough. But I don't think that looks like Slough because I already done a scenario where we started at Slough Station, so. Do you have a freight train there, though? Class 66. Or some empty wagons. Yeah, it's very laggy now. Holy crap. It's pissing down my rain, it's lagging. It's not gonna go well, is it? <laughs> okay, now it, look, it seems to be fine. It's kinda weird. Okay, there's the AWS. I might turn on the uh, speed marker because I can't really tell when I really can't see any speed markers on the actual tracks I know on train simulator there's a HUD that shows you it but I don't know where on the HUD it actually shows you that so I'm gonna I'm gonna enable it so if you go on settings and go on next speed limit marker that's on that So when the next speed limit is, uh, we'll see I have a marker. It's pretty cool. Oops. Oh, wait. Oh, God. Why am I standing? Oh, why is it so laggy? Let's go to Throttle Idle because we're pretty much maxed out on the speed limit. And we don't want to be speeding, do we? Don't know what happens if you speed, actually. I don't think you get any penalties or anything like that. Like train simulators, so... It doesn't really matter too much, I guess. Yeah, it's very laggy now. Apologies for this. Probably because it's raining quite heavily. Kind of wish the snow was in the dry, uh, summer weather. And it was dry as well, so... What can you do? I will buy a new PC eventually. And hopefully by then, there will be a bunch more uh, train simulator. Train sim mall routes, actually, for UK. Yeah, definitely a new, a new PC. Pretty much a new graphics card, actually. My processor is pretty good, and my RAM is pretty good. Just need a new pro uh, graphics card. Probably going to buy a GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti. We should hopefully run this game pretty much at max settings. Then again, there's probably people playing on that graphics card and probably lagging as well, so... Due to the poorly optimized from Dotsville games, so could just go up, speed up a bit. Did 
Okay, all of a sudden it's smooth. And then he goes laggy like this. It's really weird, like. Like, you just don't know, like, a few seconds is smooth, and the next few seconds is just very laggy. We're only 20 miles away from running, though. Let's go outside of it actually. Staying in the cab is all quite boring when you literally stay in the cab for the whole journey. What station is that? Um, no idea. I should know that, but I don't remember. It's been a long time since I've. Uh... That's a class one six six. Very nice. Okay, let's throttle back. And then let's get a screenshot. Very nice. GWR. So yeah, as you can just, if you, as you just heard, like I heard the AWS when I'm outside the train, so that I can confirm that does work. Something that Double Games have mentioned has worked, which is good, I guess. I believe this is Lao Station, it must be. Yeah, this is Lao Station, pretty sure of it. Yeah, definitely Slough Station. If you saw my first episode of uh, my Let's Play series for Trinsimal, then you'll know that we started at Slough for that scenario, so yeah. That class 166. AI has not been too bad for the scenario so far. But that's not the reason why I'm lagging so much. It's due to the weather. If it was light rain it would have been okay but... Heavy rain is... It really makes FPS struggle that's for sure. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad on the video. But I think the next scenario I'll be doing is the one called Down the Line, which is with the Class 166. And I believe that is during the day. It's a summer day as well, so... That should run a lot more better than this. Okay, only 16 miles away from Reading. So yeah, it pretty much takes 30 minutes to go from London to Reading in you know, HSD, so... An HST is a pretty short route, but in a class 166, stopping at stations then, it can take 60 minutes, or even longer than that, if, it's, if there's delays and all that. Yeah, this lag is really annoying. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, I'm just going to stay in the cab, I guess. As we leave London, like the scenery should like be less, I guess, because we're not in London anymore. So the FPS should be gradually better. That's what normally happens on train simulator, but unless the weather clears up, then we're kind of screwed. It's lag, unfortunately. Slow actually, let's go max throttle again. Not really keeping an eye on how fast we're going. We should be going 105 miles an hour at all times, or close to it. It's currently 1948, so 
got 13 minutes to reach there, and we've got 13, 15 miles away. Is that 15? I think it's 15. Got class 166. Coming into, uh, what switch is that? Hmm. No idea. Actually, that train's... Yeah. Hmm. Well, there's two trains. Is that HS? Is that HS? No, there's two class 166s. That's really cool. Unfortunately, if, you, if I go on the map, it doesn't actually show what station that was, so... It's pretty useless. It's in the HST. Yeah, I think we've got the green signal. Well, if it was a red signal, then we could pretty much screw it anyway, because I can't slow down in time. Why is it so laggy again? Come on. What is this? Hmm. Hmm. Not too sure. <laughs> yeah, that's so laggy. Like, it's really disappointing. Now this is the snore that one of the snores that they are uh, double game streamed so. And even it, I think that video was lagging as well, so I'm not too sure what PC spec they were uh, playing it at, but they were pretty much playing a close to release uh, game. Class one six six. Let's throttle back. If we can maintain 123 miles then that would be pretty good actually. So we've got uh, 11 minutes to reach, actually uh, 10 minutes to reach our Reading and we've got 12 miles left so If we were going on 100 miles an hour, then we probably wouldn't be reaching on there on time. Coming up 5,665, I guess, XP that is. And we just got 50 more XP for, I'm guessing, driving another a mile or something, I'm not too sure. Only thing XP does is level up uh, your character. Nah, at the moment, it doesn't really do anything, I don't think. Eleven miles away. Yeah, at the beginning of the site it was like just drizzling with rain. Now it's like really heavy, which is a bit disappointing. <laughs> when I'm starting to drive the train, it starts raining. Now I don't really, I really, I really like driving in the tr in the rain. But if it causes this much lag, then I probably won't. Probably future uh, episodes of this will probably just be in the daytime when it's nice, a nice weather, clear weather. It's not unplayable, but it doesn't look great on the video, and I'm not enjoying seeing it lag so much either. Which I'm sure you'll agree. Nine miles away. Oh, 
Oh, don't be speeding. Literally, we're 125 miles now, exactly. Yeah, it's still lagging, unfortunately. We will probably get a uh, speed limit change very soon. This is only like six and a half miles away from Reading. And the world today looks all from that, literally. This is definitely what you will experience if you come to live in London. Or if you're coming to London to visit. I know I'm slowing down, but we probably had to slow down anyway, so I might as well just slow down a little bit now, I guess. We are gradually slowing down, which is okay. Should get a marker soon. Okay, only five point one miles away now, so there should be a speed limit change surely. Let me quickly check if I've enabled it, because I'm pretty sure I did. Next, speed limit marker, stop marker, we don't need that. Objective marker, we left on. Next signal, next signal, no, that's good. Yep. We are catching a class 166. Very nice. <laughs> okay, there it is. Um, so we're two point two miles away, and the speed is going down to ninety five. So, so you kind of need that on. Definitely helps. Like, like you're not gonna know, especially when you're playing in heavy rain, like. You're not gonna look at the actual track to see the speed limit because you probably won't see it in time. I don't think anywhere on the HUD it shows you how far uh, the next, uh, what do you call it, speed limit is, I guess. One point two miles away. It's AWS. Zero point eight. Okay, that's us. Six. 
Let me know. Let's go for the idle because. Okay, we need to slow down. Last one six six. On the HST. Yeah, the AI in this tonight has been really good actually. Decent amount of HSTs, a lot of class one six sixes. Really cool. On the AWS. Yeah, we're gonna be speeding, unfortunately. Oh, are we? Nope, we're good. And we're arriving at Red Ink. And it's... Not, actually, we're quite early actually. It's not even 8 o'clock yet, we have to reach at 8 or 1, so... That's pretty good. Hey, look at that guys, W.H. Smith. There we go. I'm not too sure why we didn't see W.H. Smith at, um... Oh, that's not good. We're gonna pass away signal. Ugh. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and the scenario failed because we passed red signal. Wow. Okay, then. Um... I'm gonna count that as a pass because I'm not gonna do the scenario again. I'll do that in my own time. But yeah, um, let's go back to the main menu. It's not gonna tell us we've completed it, have we? Yeah. So it's basically like train summits where you pass the red signal and unfortunately the scenario will end. Now we're pretty much done that scenario anyway, so I'm just gonna count that as a complete. But yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I do apologize for the lag in that scenario due to the weather, but Hopefully you guys hopefully joined enjoyed it anyway, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys <laughs>